sports. It's in the game. What is going on guys? Snickel here and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in Madden 20 on the PlayStation 4. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Comeback City, which is to come back and win when trailing by 17 plus points at halftime. This is really not that difficult of a trophy and this is something that we've seen in other Madden games. So you can set this up and do it very, very easily while just playing the computer. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. Let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below and consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification to stay up to date on all of my new trophy content. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get right into this video. I was live streaming myself getting this platinum. I do live stream all my platinum trophies and everything over on Twitch. So if you want to follow me, there's a link for that down in the description below. So this is the last Madden game that I do need to get platinumed. Uh, that's strictly just on the PlayStation 4. So Madden 21 is the one where it starts to go cross-gen between PS4 and PS5. So I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, me being an Eagles fan, when I was going for this trophy, it was just right that uh, I got a little bit of revenge from the Super Bowl last year. So we, we are playing the Chiefs. So if you guys are struggling to get this trophy, there's a few ways that you can go about it. So the first way and the way that I kind of go about it is I kind of try to help the uh, computer here to score at least 17 points. And I do that by playing very, very poor defense. Now, in the case that I was playing, I was doing that and they still weren't scoring on me. So what I would end up doing is I would actually, when I was on offense, I would actually just continue to get safeties. So... I was still trying to get on offense as much as possible. And then when I was on offense, I would just run a play, get a safety, give them two points, try to give them a few plays to see if they can get downfield. If not, get the ball, get a safety, and just keep doing that over and over again until they have at least 17 points. That's why they have 19 points. That's a really weird score to have in a, in a football game. Um, that's mainly because it's all from safeties. Uh, or, yeah, I think like 90 five percent of those points but uh coming back from that in the second half is not that bad at all i was only playing i believe six minute quarters um and i was playing accelerated game clock and you can see i was able to come back and get 50 points just in the half so it's really not that difficult to do at all and you can set the sliders to whatever you want to set them to so if you are having issues with it you can make it as you know easy as possible or you can make it as difficult as possible it's really just how you want to play as for the rest of the trophies in the game, they're really not that bad. There's a lot of repeat trophies from Madden 18 and Madden 19, the games that came before this one. Um, and then obviously you're going to have to do some ultimate team stuff. And the online is still up for this game or the servers are still up. So I would advise to do it if, if you haven't already and you want to do it. Uh, but I will say that the one thing that I really did like about this game over Madden 18 and Madden 19 was the single player. The single player in Madden 18 and Madden 19 just were not it for me. They took way too long. They drug on too long. They were just really, really annoying to get through. Uh, and with that being said, this game makes the single player very um, short and I guess enjoyable. You only really have to play like two games. You play a semifinal game in college and you play a final game in college. And then you have to do a combine where you need to make every single pass perfect in the combine. And then when you do that, you're basically done the single player. So it's really, really nice. I will be having full trophy guides out for this game in the upcoming week or so. So if you're having any issues with anything and you're going for this game, you can check those down in the description below. I will have a link to a playlist. But yeah, I really enjoyed this game. As you guys know, I'm trying to work my way through the Madden and the show games. Those are the two sports games that I'm working on, trying to get all of the ones done that I can get done that are still obtainable. And we are slowly getting through it. And like I said at the beginning of the video, Madden 20 is the last game that's strictly just on PlayStation 4. When we get into Madden 21, that's when it's on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So I think those have a little bit... Uh, longer of a lifespan or a little bit more longevity in those servers because they are on the playstation 5 or they are shared on that generation of console but uh, i was trying to get everything done that was specifically just on the playstation 4 because i didn't want to kind of be locked out of any of these platinums and uh, madden 18 and madden 19 already went down so i, I would anticipate 20 going down at some point um but yeah 
I would say everything else in the game is, uh, is, is fairly easy to do. You are going to spend a decent amount of time in this game in the franchise mode, which I was not expecting, but you do have your Tom Brady Legacy Award trophy, which you can get through downloading a roster, and then you do have your random trophies at the beginning of the list, like I said, that Madden 18 and Madden 19 have. So very, very uh, enjoyable list, enjoyable game, and, uh, you know, I don't know if I paid full price for this game when it came out. I might be a little bit disappointed because it's not that much of a difference from uh, from 19. But, you know, paying like $10 down the line, I, I like that. I, I like that a lot. <laughs> so here we go. We are getting through our last time here. Um, and that was the last play that we had coming through. So with that being said, that will finish the game. Which when I was streaming this, I completely forgot that the game was ending there. I thought, I was like, why are they celebrating the first down? The game's over. So uh, anyway, there's the trophy, uh, Comeback City. And then we will get this platinum trophy here called Madden NFL 20 Master. It's really, really nice to get this game done. We're going to just keep chugging through them. But anyway, with all of that being said, let's get into this list. So here it is, 100% with a platinum, no DLC or anything. And I don't really anticipate this game getting DLC. Uh, yeah, that was a really bad joke. Anyway, as you're looking through the trophies here, you're going to see that there are trophies for doing all sorts of stuff in this game. And uh, yeah, it, it's just really not that bad to get through. I will note that there's really no trophy guide on or achievement guide anywhere for this game. There are individual trophies. And again, like I said, I will be making full trophy guides for everything, but there's not like a full written text guide, which makes it a little bit annoying to get through this game. But uh, all in all, like I said, really enjoyable single player short. You'll be playing franchise mode more than other games. And uh, you'll be doing those random trophies and having fun, hopefully, as you're playing through the entire of the game uh, with the ability to like download rosters and do all that stuff it really makes a lot of these trophies very very accessible and uh, very easy and not difficult so anyway here is the profile trophy level 583 7 percent i've got 14,611 total trophies got 9,795 bronze 3,268 silver 1,309 gold 239 platinums with 14,611 total trophies if you're into that numbers kind of stuff and then here's the platinum trophy itself called madden nfl 20 master so if you are looking at doing the madden games or getting into the madden games this is the first one that you're going to be able to do as of uh, uploading this video so i would advise to go for it it's very very fun very very easy and if you're into ultra rare trophies uh it's a very easy ultra rare to get i believe there's three ultra rares in it and they're really not that difficult to get at, at all with uh, obviously counting the platinum trophy so let's talk about some numbers here. So if I had to rate this uh, trophy list out of 10 for a difficulty, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Now you're probably wondering, Snickle, you've been talking about how easy this game is through the entirety of all this and how accessible it is and everything like that. Yes, 99% of the trophies in this game are very, very easy and very, very accessible by moving sliders and doing things like that. There is one trophy that is kind of well, not kind of, it is skill dependent. You need to kind of get good at the game in order to uh, get this trophy, but it's not like impossible. And that is the perfect passer in the uh, combine. There are 24 throws in the combine when you're playing in the single player and you need to make each of those 24 throws perfectly. Now, the good news is if you do mess up, you can quit out of the game, load back into the beginning of the combine, watch the little cutscene there, and then you can progress through. But with that being said, you do need to make 24 throws perfectly, which is why I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10, because it is a little bit above average, and it might take you a little bit of time in order to get this, to just get used to it. There are guides out there that will walk you through it. There are video guides and everything, but yeah, that will take a little bit of time. So 6 out of, time, six out of 10, uh, time it takes to get the Platinum, you're probably looking at uh, between 10 to 15 hours, I would say. Let's just bump it up, let's say 10 to 20, because it's really dependent on, on how good you are at Madden games. Could take you upwards of 20 hours to get a few of the trophies. Um, well, not you know one specific trophy, but getting all of them, it could take you upwards of 20 hours if you're having troubles with Perfect Pass or a few of those other random trophies. But all the franchise trophies are really easy to get. You can download stuff, you can move stuff around, you can manipulate stuff. It's really not that difficult at all. So yes, yeah, six out of 10, 10 to 20 hours, 
not really that difficult other than that one trophy and if you are having troubles with anything again be sure to check the description below for the playlist for all the trophy guides anyway i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did be sure to leave a like let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below and check the description for all sorts of links twitter twitch other videos like this like all my platinums that i've been uploading for who knows how many years so if you want to go check any of that stuff out i would greatly greatly appreciate it like I said, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. And I hope to see you all around sometime soon.